Hey, Chad German here. I'm at a light pole. And at this light pole, there's some funny things. They they st stole off of this guy with this LB. And, and check that out. That's a little bit funny. I, I actually wasn't coming out here to, uh, to see that. I was coming out to talk about an auxiliary grounding electrode and what that is according to 250.54. Um, I look down underneath this little guy. He doesn't have the, the hand cover. And you can see a ground in there. That ground is a grounding electrode. Um, but it's an auxiliary ground electrode. There's really no, nothing on 250.54 that explains why or what we have to do with that, other than we can do that with a grounding electrode, uh, or sorry, an auxiliary grounding electrode. Um, so, so with that being said, having no rules, there's no real size of, of why we would do that. Now, the only issue with that is some guys think that if they have a grounding elect, uh, an auxiliary grounding electrode here, that they don't have to pull an equipment ground because they're already taking it to ground. That myth that electrons want to get back to the ground is, is it just a myth, like I said, and it makes it dangerous. If an equipment ground uh, wasn't up there and a hot conductor or ungrounded conductor came off the ballast and touched this light pole, um, we wouldn't have an effective ground fault current path if you did not have an equipment ground pole. So make sure you understand grounding. Grounding and bonding is something that either people do way too much or way too little or because they have a ground and it goes to earth, they think that they're completely fine with not pulling an equipment ground up to this light pole. And that could be dangerous. A little kid could come up and, and grab that sucker and uh, get shocked pretty hard. Uh, and this can become electrified because it's metal and uh, it's conductive. So um, we could have some major issues. Please, please, please know what you're doing. Uh, if you're gonna throw a, a grounding electrode, a, a auxiliary grounding electrode, because the plans tell you to by the engineer, by, by all means do that. But don't forget to pull your equipment ground. Very important for that effective ground fault current path so that we can trip breakers if there's any faults. Thanks, guys, and have a wonderful day.